Hello guys, this is Damian from forexboat.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live forex trading account. We remind that the trades you see here is with and only educational purpose. I'm currently looking at the 15 minute chart of the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair. I'm approaching this chart because I believe that the price action is, has just confirmed a famous pattern on the chart, which is the reason I will immediately sell half lot of the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair. And now I will tell you why I did this. Notice that the price has been decreasing uh, during the, the past few hours. Suddenly, the price reached the area near 111.12 or 13 and started a consolidation. But this consolidation resembles a flag pattern, which I'm now marking with orange on the chart. We have the upper level of the flag and the lower level of the flag. Something like this. And the previous trend is the flagpole of our flag pattern. So this is how the flag pattern looks on the chart. We have a bearish trend. A consolidation that resembles a bullish horizontal channel which creates the flag pattern. But suddenly, our flag pattern got broken in bearish direction. Which confirmed the authenticity of the pattern. For this reason, I believe that the price action will keep decreasing in this case. Uh, let's adjust the flagpole because I did not build it the right way. The flagpole should be placed. At the beginning of the last bearish impulse which is part of the trend so as a result of the breakout the flag pattern got confirmed in bearish direction which is the reason why I opened my short trade the flag pattern trading usually has two targets on the chart the first target equals the vertical size of the flag pattern itself right over here apply starting from the moment of the breakout and the second target equals the size of the flagpole the vertical size of the flagpole applied starting from the moment of the same breakout this is why I'm measuring the flagpole and I'm applying it starting from the moment of the breakout over here. So these are our two targets. The first target is somewhere over here. And the second target is located down here near 110.85. Okay, let me stretch the first target so it will be visible. Okay. First target over here. And the second target, somewhere over here. We should never leave our trades unattended, which is the reason why I'm going to put a stop loss order above the highest point of the flag pattern. Somewhere near 111.45. Okay, the stop loss order is placed on the chart. And now I'm going to put a take profit order at the second target of the flag pattern. 110.85 over here why did I choose the second target the reason for this is that I'm gonna follow my trade and I'm gonna close it in case the price starts hesitation strong hesitation around the first target on the chart however if the price creates a sharp decrease and penetrates the level of our first target, there is no reason to close the trade, which is uh, the reason why I don't want to place a take profit over over there. Take profit order over there. Because if the price shoots down instantly, it will close the trade in case we place a take profit order on the first target. And since I want to avoid this, 
I place the, the, the take profit order at the second target so that I will be able to contain this bearish price move in case of a sharp decrease. At the same time, if I see that the price is hesitating at the first target or it intends to reverse or something, I will instantly close the trade. I will get back to you and I will instantly close the trade. So now I will pause the video and I will get back to you when I see how is this trade developing. Okay guys, we're back about one hour and a half later to see that the price action has decreased uh, relatively sharply through our first target, then showing no hesitation. The price continued decreasing and reached our second target, hitting our take profit order, which was located at 110.85. I'm going to mark this level with green so we'll be able to see it easier. Where did it go? Oh, yeah, I need to mark it with green. Here it is. 110.85. Take profit level was at 108. 110.85. Entry point was at 111.23. Marking it with white. Okay, and stop loss order was located at 111.45, which I'm going to mark with red. So we managed to catch a fresh new bullish impulse as a part of the general American dollar Japanese yen forex trend over here. This is the impulse we got. How did we get the impulse? Um, I managed to discover a flag pattern, a bearish flag pattern over here. This is the flag and this is the flagpole. And I traded for both of its target. The first target equals the size of the flag, as I already mentioned. The vertical size of the flag taking its high point and it's low right over here see as big as the rectangle over here then the second target of the flag pattern equals the size of the flag pole the vertical size of the flag pole I measured it with this rectangle and then I, I applied it starting from the moment of the breakout. And these were my two targets in this trade. The trade took a relatively short period of time compared to the profit I generated here. So I shorted the American dollar Japanese yen at 111.23. I deleted my line by mistake. 111.23. Mark with white. And my take profit order was located at 110.85. This is approximately a 38 pips bearish distance on the American dollar Japanese yen forex chart. And this 38 pips. When we divide 38 pips with our entry price, 111.23, we get a result of 0.34% profit from this trade that took like less than an hour and a half, which is a, a very good result for this short amount of time, this short period of time. We shorted the American dollar Japanese yen, stayed in the trade for an hour and a half, did 0.34% profit. And this is like one third of 1%, a very, very good result for an hour and a half. So this was an example of how to trade successfully a bearish flag pattern.
Notice that when you trade the bullish flag pattern, you pretty much do the same thing, but in the opposite direction. The bullish flag will appear as part of a bullish trend, and the channel you will be getting will be inclined in bearish direction. In this relation, you should trade long when the price breaks the upper level of the bullish flag pattern. In our case, we had a bearish flag pattern, and I shorted the market when the price broke the lower level of the flag which resulted in a 0.34% profit for my account. So thank you very much for watching. This was Damian from ForexBolt.com. Looking forward to see you on the next Forex trading session. And until then, I wish you happy trading.